Several years ago, I was approached by this dear lady at the end of a church service where I preached, and um, she shared with me that she's a passionate follower of Jesus, loves Jesus with all of her heart, but she really struggles to believe that some of the stories in the Bible are really God's word. Some of the stories just don't strike her as historical. They seem more legendary. And other stories, she thought, just are too immoral to be God's word. And then she looked at me with, with tears in her eyes and she said, do you think I can be saved despite my weak faith? She was like, in terror over this. My heart just broke for her. The assumption behind her question is that a person's faith is as strong as they are certain. A person's faith is as strong as they are free of doubt. And her assumption was that her salvation hung on remaining sufficiently certain of every story in the Bible. This is how I think most people more or less think about faith today. And yet, I think it's a profoundly unbiblical model of faith, and in fact, it's doing us a lot of harm. See, in this model of the faith, becoming a Christian isn't just about developing a relationship with Jesus. It's about embracing this whole package of beliefs and trying to become convinced of this whole package of beliefs, including every story of the Bible. Uh, with this model of faith, the church becomes a gathering of people who are trying to suppress their doubts to convince themselves that all their beliefs are true. It becomes a community of people who are, are afraid of really dealing with the tough questions and, and admitting any kind of ambiguity. It becomes a community of people who are, are afraid to really try to get on the inside and understand the perspectives of people who disagree with them. Because doing that might unsettle their own certainty. And you can see why thoughtful, more skeptically minded unbelievers today wouldn't find anything attractive about that model of faith or about that model of a community. I mean, they, they get that a person who's trying to convince themselves that all their beliefs are true, uh, that, that's a person who's becoming a narrow-minded, arrogant person, and there's just nothing attractive about that. Uh, they get that, that we can't be certain of hardly anything in life, let alone this whole package of beliefs that people identify as Christianity. It's just not compelling to them. And then they ask the question, a legitimate question, what kind of God would leverage people's eternal destiny on their ability to convince themselves that all their beliefs are true? That's certainly not a God of love. Then the people inside the church who are uh, more skeptically inclined and for whom faith doesn't come easy, well, they end up feeling just like outsiders. And tragically, some of them end up walking away from the faith. I've remained a committed follower of Jesus, but I gotta honestly tell you, I identify with that group of people. Faith simply has never come easy for me. And if you know what I'm talking about, then I'm excited to invite you to a conference that's gonna be held on Friday and Saturday, September 27th and 28th at Woodland Hills Church. It's a conference that's entitled Faith, Doubt, and the Idol of Certainty. It's based on a book that I wrote called Benefit of the Doubt that'll be coming out in uh, September. Uh, in this conference, among other things, you'll have the opportunity to really probe into, explore deeply the nature of faith, uh, the nature of doubt. You'll be giving a way of framing doubt that, that allows us to see that it's not necessarily the enemy of faith, but it actually can be a friend of faith. It can benefit faith. You'll see that this m widespread model today, that faith is about striving for certainty, is not only not biblical, it is, it is idolatrous. It makes an idol out of certainty and it messes with people's head and causes far more harm in the body of Christ than most people realize. And in its place, uh, we'll offer a biblical model of faith that allows us to be grounded, intellectually grounded, without needing to be closed-minded. A model of faith that motivates us uh, to be passionate followers of Jesus uh, without needing to be certain about anything. It's really going to rock. I hope you can be there. Now, even if you can't make the whole conference, I, I want to invite you to a party that we're throwing uh, the first night uh, after the first session. It starts at 8 o'clock. It's free. Uh, it's child-friendly. It will be featuring uh, Not Dead Yet, that famous rock band that I drum for. And no, we're not famous, but we do have a good time. Uh, so feel free to come to that. Join us even if you can't attend the whole conference. But I hope you can attend the conference. It's going to be liberating. Uh, it'll be eye-opening. It'll be challenging, motivating, invigorating. Uh, I think you're really going to love it. We're going to have a lot of fun. Hope to see you there. God bless.